Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It's time to start a new campaign. The uh, Austro-Hungarian campaign kind of uh, ended, which was uh, not the good ending. Anyway, let's start a new campaign. It's Japan, 1910. Difficulty, again, at Legendary. That gives the AI uh, income bonuses. Uh, Historical or random, it, it doesn't make a huge difference. I find that, I, I think that, uh, with historical AI, the AI will um, not make such uh, bad decisions in terms of uh, research. Like my, uh, my British campaign a while ago, I had the AI on uh, random. And at least the French were just incapable of uh, building good ships because their... I don't know what... Probably their research was all bonked up. Create my own fleet, of course. I don't have any AI uh, shared designs saved, so uh, it doesn't really make a difference. But uh, in case I ever make some shared designs, uh, the AI can use them. Let's start the campaign. And my gimmick this time, again, sticking with my uh, uh, weird little um, Advance Wars themed gimmicks, I'm uh, gonna be playing as kind of uh, Kanbei. He's a uh, commander in the game Advance Wars. His deal is that all of his stuff is more expensive but better than the enemy stuff. So all my ships must be at least 20% more expensive than the average AI design. Unlike with the calling campaign I'm not gonna roll five times and average it out because it's not really a limit I have to stay under. It's just uh, make it at least that expensive, which shouldn't be too hard. And going with the whole uh, samurai spirit uh, theme, I cannot back down from, uh, from fights. I cannot click withdraw. Even if it's a huge navy attacking one of my single ships, I have to take the engagement. I can attempt to run away, and uh, save my ship, that's okay, but uh, I have to at least take the fight. Further on, improved behavior, I need to keep my crew training level at maximum at all times. I cannot reduce it, even if it, I need to save money. It shouldn't be too bad, It's uh, having maxed out crew training is a good thing anyway. So it's, it's not too restrictive. But also, sometimes you get those um, options that pop up at the start of a turn. Like, do you want to have a bigger naval budget or do you want to give money to the poor? I cannot pick options that give negative, uh, like, unrest. That's uh, what it's called in game. So, I might have to go with a smaller naval budget and, uh, and give money to the poor or something like that. When it comes to starting and ending wars and entering alliances, uh, that kind of goes out the window. Because uh, in those cases, I just got to do what I got to do. Technology. I can have technology uh, research set at maximum, but I cannot use those uh, three free priorities. Not at all. So I just have to take what technologies I get. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully playing as Japan should be a little bit less frustrating than playing as Austria. I'm not trapped in the Mediterranean uh, Ocean, so to speak. I should... I've never played as Japan before, but I should hopefully have a few more uh, uh, ports to build from and a higher, uh, like, fleet production capacity than uh, Austria had. So that should not be such a huge issue. 
And, uh, well, the downside is that, unlike Austria, which is pretty much confined to the Mediterranean, I do need operational range on all my ships. Because the Pacific Ocean is pretty big. That's an understatement. Well, anyway, uh, this is gonna stay uh, cooking for a while, generating the uh, campaign. So, yeah, I'm just gonna have to cut that out, I guess. Alright, let's uh, create my fleet. I want to get an apple. I thought I would finish eating it before the campaign um, actually got generated, but uh, apparently I was wrong, so... Uh... That's weird. <laughs> That's from my uh, Austrian campaign. Okay, let me just eat this apple and I'll be back. Okay, let's see what we have to work with here. GDP is not the greatest, but at least I'm growing. Oil production, zero. So I might have to stick with coal to begin with. I guess I can try and be friendly with um, the British. Uh, shipbuilding capacity is already better by a pretty big margin than um, it was as Austria. Crew training must be at maximum. Transport capacity should also be uh, increased. Now, let's uh, design some ships. First off, I want to build a bigger uh, shipyard. It's going to cost me uh, 12 million a month. That's quite a lot. But I think I will need it.
Now let's, let's design some ships. <clears throat> Uh, Dreadnought 1. Uh, range is... Uh, I might just have to stick with coal for now. Start at uh, 25 knots. Actually, no. I uh, I forgot something uh, something important related to my gimmick. So 27.6 million. Let's get my calculator. Point six times one point two thirty three million at least. That is my uh, min. Uh, minimum budget Oh uh, actually let's um Yeah, let's start fresh. Akagi, that's a nice name. 25 knots. Gonna try and make that work. Coal uh, induced. Let's uh, slap on the stuff. Fifty percent engine efficiency. That's not amazing. I go with four spoilers, that's uh, seventy five percent. I can fit more funnels to this uh, this sign. Oh, I was hoping I might be able to fit two of the smaller funnels here, but no. Big funnels then. Main guns. Both are Mark Three. to move.
already over the uh, minimum budget, so that's uh, that's nice. Gonna go with coincidence. Do I want to stay with 13 inch or go down to 12 inch? That's the uh, question. Uh, Cordite, stay with uh, TNT. Capped Ballistic. Uh, nose fuse HE, that's nice. Enhanced reloading. Let's reduce the speed a bit. There we go. Engine efficiency went up. Range went up. Is this gonna ruin my weight? Yeah, ship is overweight. Let's go with uh, six inch guns. Yeah, those are much lighter. Much lighter. Secondary guns. Wow, well, these are kind of big. So, seeing as these are five inch guns, I might actually go five inch on the uh, casemates as well. weight offset of 3.7%. Uh, uh, 12-inch, 12% uh, longer uh, main guns. That's nice. Just move things a little bit further back. There we go. It's pretty balanced. Five and five. Four on the main deck. Two on the superstructure. Let's see, what more can we do here? Well, this is looking like a pretty uh, decent ship, in fact. Got 
gonna move this a little bit further forwards without ruining. Yeah. A little bit of a four weight offset, but uh, we can live with that. There we go. Anywhere to put two inch uh, guns. I think there's room for. Uh... Casemates here. Yeah. That's nice. Thirteen point two on the main belt. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's nice for now. Akagi. Now, battle cruiser. I have battle cruiser three available. It's a nice hull. See what will be my budget. Forty four. Plus twenty per cent. That's uh, wait quick. Let's say fifty. I'm not going to do the calculator for that one. Start from fresh. Now you need to be kind of fast. Norikura class. No, you will be Congo. Just add the tower and stuff first. Big funnels. Forty three per cent. Eighty four per cent. It's better. Barbet. Do I really want to go with twelves or do I want to go up to uh, thirteen? That will depend on the uh, weight, I think. But it seems I have. Uh, A lot of weight available for this uh, hull. You could, of course, go with uh, these uh, steering gears, but uh, they do add ship flaws and stuff. Increased ammo. Stick with TNT. It's 
What's my range here? Can I increase that a little bit? Yes. This is a long ship. But these are some pretty good uh, like angles going on. Casemate guns, let's do as on the battleship, stick with 5 inch. Four weight offset. Uh, by quite a bit. to uh, casemate guns. Yeah, and I've got some uh, weight left over. Twelve percent longer barrels. That's nice. And let's deal with the armor. This much armor on the uh, three inch guns. Mm, what more? What more do I need? Fourteen-inch main belt, yes. So it's got more armor than the battleship. Can I increase the range? No. Uh, yeah. That will have to do. That's the fifty million battle cruiser. Now let's go with uh, heavy cruisers.
Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. What's my budget? <clears throat> yeah, it's like 28. Maybe. Let's say 27. Start from scratch. Large armored cruiser. Well, that's technically a battle cruiser, so. Kasuga. Start with 25 knot speed. Funnels. Can I fit here? It's fourteen. That's uh, twenty two. I'd have to go with uh, four spoilers. 66% engine efficiency. Forty-seven percent. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go with multiple uh, of these. Hundred and ten percent. Main guns. I go with 10 inch and then a barbette I guess my turrets will not fit on that barbette Move everything further aft. These are going to be slightly similar to the uh, heavy cruisers I was using in my uh, Austrian campaign. But those were actually quite good. do I need? Uh, yeah, four weight offset, but it's not too bad. And these are 10 inch guns, so they pack quite the punch. Let's add the stuff. Standard ratio. Cap ballistic. Increased ammo because I don't like running out of ammo.
longer guns. Nine inches on the main belt. No secondaries, though. Let's see, what will be the uh, difference between 9 and 10 inch guns? Rate of fire 30 second reload, 43 second reload. Armor pen at 10,000 is um, 19 inches versus 25 inches. Mm, damage AP 156, 229. Weight 293. 394. I'm going to go with the 10 inch guns. Now the ship is overweight. I'm going to actually reduce range to begin with and reduce speed to match my my battleship now I suddenly have 196 percent engine efficiency so these are gonna be quite slow for uh, for a cruiser But I'm hoping that in time, once I get some more technologies, I can refit them. Better engines, oil fuel, if I get my hands on some oil. And uh, other stuff. Let's go uh, 1.5 inch on the uh, main belt. I like having my heavy cruisers be quite tanky. It typically works out for me. Cost only 20... Uh, only 20 million. It's not expensive enough. not expensive enough but we can uh, we can perhaps fix that fix that. Let's move everything a little bit forwards.
excuse me. Yeah, adding some five inch guns. The ship is overweight. And I have an aft weight offset. Casemate armor. Why is it so cheap? It needs to be a little bit more expensive. Let's remove that guy. Let's remove some armor, I guess. It's a little bit um, under budget, which wasn't even intended, but yeah, I guess it will have to do. It's just hard to make it more, uh, more expensive with the technology that I have. It's already more expensive than the... Uh, AI random design was, which was at 22 million. Now, do I want a light cruiser? Not that one. Not that one. Uh, let's make a DD. Let's make some DDs. Let's just ignore the existence of uh, light cruisers. Okay, so uh, six million and change. Is my budget. At least I have a decent uh, destroyer hull available from uh, from the start. Now, you need to be quite fast. And I want to actually reduce draft to make it less visible. Uh, range should be a little bit more, perhaps. Add one funnel and then see uh, where we are at. Let's go with that one. Prop three. Mines. Uh, 
So it's a mine layer, a mine uh, sweeper. Okay, let's add the torpedo launchers. Double launchers, that's all I have. I want them to be fast torpedoes, standard torpedo uh, armament. Let's just add a gun there. Okay, so we're at 85% engine efficiency. Twenty-six, ninety-six. Let's just go with two of these. Can I fit a barbette to a DD? Can. Chip is overweight. I have that main gun back there. Which extends the citadel. What kind of gun fits on that tower? Range gun. Uh, light shells. Standard ammo, that's fine. Ship is overweight. Go like that. Uh, Barbette doesn't add much. Let's add this. is all white. But not by like a lot. that. Like anything else I should add? Go down to barbet 2.
guess that's as good as it uh, as it gets. Four weight offset is very bad. Move you back. That saves uh, some weight. Move everything a little bit back. Forward offset is now not as bad. Uh, core light. <clears throat> well, that ruins my weight. These are Mark II. These are also Mark II. All of them are Mark II. Two inch guns don't weigh a lot. Ship is overweight. Eh. Ship is also overweight. Can I play with the armor? One inch main belt. Half inch super structure. Yeah, I guess I guess that's it. Didn't quite make it up to my budget, but that's uh, that's hard to do with the weight limit. So let's just save the design. Build some ships. Naval funds. 879. Two of those. Two of those. Can I build eight of those? Uh, yes, I can. And twelve of those. Yep. Still uh, in the green. One more of those. Another one. Yeah, that will that will have to do. Let's see where are my uh, my ports? Yokosaka and Tokyo. Let's 
you, where can I actually build them? Okay, got lots of, uh, lots of ports. These two are going to Yokosaka. Once we'll be going to uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the world map again. It's Hokkaido. Naha, that's Okinawa. That's a very small port. Yokosaka, that's a big, uh, big naval port. Maizuru is a big naval port. Sasebo is a very big naval port. Busan. I guess I can move them around once uh, they enter service. already forgot my scatter brain already forgot Sasebo that's a big port for these to Yokosaka Four more to Sasebo. Four of the Ayanawa class to Yokosaka. Ayanami. Four of them to Sasebo. These four are actually going to Okinawa. Add crew. Let's see research. Come on, game, don't be slow. Uh, new boilers, uh, destroyer funnels next turn. New light cruiser next turn. Glad I didn't build any. Mark one fourteen inch, two months. And coincidence three in five months. And again, I cannot use these because I decided so. Can I build any submarines? I guess I can build them as I need them. Yeah, I'm guessing China will be the one I fight first, but that's it. Let's uh, start campaign.
None of my ports are over limit. I'm extending my shipyard size. Research is being researched. Uh, fleet is looking fine. Yeah. I will see you next episode where maybe something happens. I know one of the first things we need to do is actually invade um, China or possibly the Philippines. Because I need oil. Running on coal alone is. Um, mm, it has its drawbacks. Because you don't get the range that you get with oil. But yeah, that's it. Goodbye and take care.